let's uh, let's talk about the Leaf side of it, which I want to start with Nick Robertson, who scored for the fourth time this season after being scratched. Don't you dare trade this kid. <laughs> He's going to get 20 goals next year. I will fight Brad for living. I will get on a ladder and fist fight him if it, he trades Nick Robertson. And it was a great shot. And you know what I like about that is this is a guy that's fighting for a spot in the lineup. You know, people have asked, is he in the starting lineup for uh, game one against likely Florida? Every, you know, to a person, everybody's saying no. And he's saying yes. Mm -hmm. Even if the answer is no, you need a player to be going. You don't want a player to tuck tail and be like, well, well life's unfair. He's like, no, F you put me in the freaking lineup. I'm still not a thousand percent convinced he won't be in the game one lineup. It's not looking good, um, but they're trying stuff, right? Like what did I say about nice. I said it's not impossible that it could be him. So he gets dropped down to the fourth line because mm -hmm. it helps accentuate what Nick Robertson can do on the third. So, okay, let's see what you can do in a fourth line role there, Matthew Nyes. Are you useful in that role? Last night he showed he, he is. Mm -hmm. There are more guys on this Leaf team than in any in recent memory who deserve to be in the game one lineup. That's great. That's who just won't be. That's called depth. It's called depth. And you need it in the playoffs. It's, 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 Really odd. It's been a work in progress throughout the season, and it's amazing how many performances they've got from within. Holmberg, earlier this season, I'm like, what are we doing with this guy? You know, and then they tried him in some fun spots, and oh, he's good with Matthews for a few games, and then he turns into a pumpkin. And I've been watching him the last couple of games. That's a playoff player. That's oh, yeah. A, he won Swedish League playoff MVP. Keep bringing that up. Um, I think that's an important point. It's an important point. I mean, uh, you want playoff performers. Well, he couldn't perform in the NHL playoffs before he got to the NHL. He did it in Sweden and he was really good. Well, and they were showing Tyler Bertuzzi too, with his history with Grand Rapids and mm -hmm. his OHL. What was his team before Grand Rapids when he was a junior? I don't know. Anyway, big playoff performer there as well. There you go. Um, I thought, I thought Nyes was like fantastic on the fourth line. And mm -hmm. if this is like the lineup looked really good. I think Robertson has a case to be in there over Reeves if you want to like just play away from the, hey, we need a big guy to beat up people in the playoffs. Like If you just drop that narrative, then you can definitely go with Gregor in there and, and on the fourth line and Robertson on the third. See, I'd rather keep Robertson in and pull Gregor out and put Reeves in. Well, That's where I'm there's at. The, yeah, there's also that option. There have been, there have been um, games where the Leafs haven't played Reeves and they've picked their spots. Carolina? He doesn't need to play against Carolina. Carolina is not going to engage in Ryan Reeves type things. The Devils now have Curtis McDermott. Mm -hmm. Curtis or Lane? Curtis. Curtis. McDermott. Yeah. It was, it I, che I checking Nyes when Nyes was on his on his knees. And it was an accident. <laughs> it was he, it was entirely an accident. Yeah. It was funny though. It was yeah. It was funny, <laughs> and you know Reeves might have fought him yeah. uh, had he been in the lineup. But like McDermott is not the kind of guy who's going to run around. <laughs> um, so. And and outside of McDermott, the Devils are soft. They're so soft. There's no reason to have Reeves in that lineup. Florida, yeah, uh, Ryan, you're up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm not scratching. So him do against you the sacrifice ball. what Reeves lacks on the offensive side and what Noah Gregor can provide you? And and I'd say defense as well. Like I'd say Noah Gregor, just in terms of offense and defense, is a more skilled player than Ryan Reeves. But Ryan Reeves has also stepped up lately and yep. been. Uh, he's been actually kind of useful in the offensive zone. Yeah, Gregor is definitely a better defensive player. Offensively, uh, I'm not entirely convinced. Mm -hmm. Like, I've seen Reeves uh, put up a bunch of chances this mm -hmm. season. I know he's got three goals. Relax. But, like, he's 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 always sniffing around, and the fourth line is doing generally positive things when he's out there. Mm -hmm. And he's Ryan Reeves. Like, he's a, he's a nuclear deterrent. And... You know, if they were playing someone else in the first round, maybe I'd have a different opinion. They're not. So I want him in there. Mm -hmm. So Gregor's the man out or is Robertson? Oh, Gregor is. I'm totally. I'm not already the man out. I'm totally yeah. not okay. sure. I'm still not sure where. Uh, I'm not sure what Gregor brings. Like, what exactly do you do here? Yeah, I'm totally comfortable and, and with him in there. But I know, but for I, game one, I think for Steve's so point, he's a more competent defensive player. And I think out of your fourth line, you want to be more assured that they're not going to give up an ugly goal in the playoffs. Yeah, I but think, I th what I think I think Nice, Kampf and Gregor provide that more assurance than Reeves there. But what you're going to get when Yarncrow comes back is that mm -hmm. at a better rate. I have no idea where he fits. Yeah. Well, I just don't know. 
like how injured is he? Well, yeah. and like, how is he coming this? back? Marner, the Marner Matthews thing. Nope. Like I saw some negative takes like, ah, oh, Keefe's going to go back to Marner Matthews at the first sign of trouble. I don't think he is. See, now I disagree with you there. Yeah. Keefe is exactly the kind of coach who will be like, hey, this is working. Let's split it up. I just <laughs> and don't I, think and so. I, 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 listen, I don't want, and they had three goals last night. The Marner Matthews, Domi, sorry, Bertuzzi, Domi, uh, Matthews. That line. I know I said it. Three goals last night. Domi was the best player on the ice yes, for a dude. large portions of that game. I've been I, saying it. He's a good fit to fill in for what Marner's role was. The Devils were locking him up, locking him up, locking him up, and it took one shift of that line to go, what if we just didn't go through Matthews this time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, they got two goals in nine seconds. The Devils had no answer for it. Yeah. Domi's, I think, best play of the night wasn't even on a goal, is the one where he was behind the net and he came and he threw the pass out front to Matthews, and Matthews yes. started right off of Allen's pad. Yes, that pass was unbelievable. And yep. then there's also the pass on the one that scored, where he just whips it across the ice, and it's it's a nice one timer. But like I thought that like his his uh, passing ability this season like has just improved as the season's gone along, and he's like reaching his peak right now. It's yep. fantastic. His vision's amazing. Obviously, he hasn't scored goals, but uh, it's it's I think in five on five assists, he's he's like fifth in the league. And he's behind like Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid and Jesper Brat and Nathan McKinnon. And that's it. And that's it. Like it's it, here. Just <laughs> like that's crazy. This this is one of my favorite Max Domi plays from last night. Adam, can you find him? Uh, I think he's on the right. Is he not? Nope. I can't see him. Jesse, can you find him? Is he behind? Is he in front of the goalie? Is this yep. <laughs> I saw, I saw All you thing. can see is a stick. <laughs> <laughs> All you can see is a stick. That's the Giordano goal. That's the oh. reason it went in. <laughs> he, can't, he can't see shit. Yeah. Because he's got to go around Max, and then to go around Max, he can't see the puck behind Heischer. Like, it's it's perfect. I've never seen... That's an eclipse. Don't... Yeah. If that's you're, an if you're eclipse Adam this, can get behind. It's the Giordano goal. Puck is close to Giordano. He's about to slap it, and you can't see Domi behind uh, Jake Allen. You could just see his stick. Because yeah. it's the Allen-Domi eclipse. Yeah. yeah. I When I got this screenshot for the video last night, I thought I got the wrong moment. And then I realized, oh, no, he's there. Like, I've, <laughs> it's perfect. It's great. It's completely perfect. Gio looked so happy to score that goal. Well, oh, no, I, yeah. I should say everybody looked happy for Gio. Gio was like the guy who's smiling the least at that moment, yeah, to yeah. be honest. Uh, but everybody was so happy for Gio to get that goal. It seemed like he really needed that one. Well, and, and, and the two goals that he scored since he's come back have mm -hmm. been like big goals. Yeah. The first one, like the like the game, he comes back after his dad passed. And then now this one, like I, I, I like Gio's game lately. Me too. And I think it's because he's refreshed. Me yeah. He hasn't played. A lot, and he had the the. I know he had the. I don't know if it was a concussion, yeah, it was but a he, concussion. he got banged up pretty good. And um, that is what's so great about the Leafs' defense this year is like Joel Edmondson's out, and we haven't even thought about it. And when the way we were talking about Mark Giordano at the beginning of this year is like we knew what happened when he played as much as he did, and then got to the playoffs and got outplayed. Man, he had nothing. But but I liked him most of the last year. Oof, he and, had enough. And listen, I think the same thing with like you look at a, a guy like Mitch Marner. Obviously, he doesn't want to be injured. No. Um, <laughs> but it is sort of like he's coming back more refreshed than most players. Yeah, but Adam, what was your injury, Mitch? I don't. Uh, oh, I don't know. We don't need to do speculate. this. We don't need to do this. I don't know. I don't know. Why, I don't know. Why were you out? You know what, Mitch Marner in his villain era. I'm here for it. Get mad. Just don't get mad at the press. Get mad at the other team. Yeah. You know? His his what is what's his superpower? Stop it. We're moving on. Um <laughs> Snark? we're moving on. All right. Bertuzzi scored two goals. He has ten in his last thirteen. That's a good player, man. Twenty one goals this year. Um, and I'm I'm again I'm holding back on the Matthews thing. Bertuzzi, one thing that drove me nuts about last night though, is you have an empty net, you're shorthanded, you've got a and, and anybody who doesn't watch the Leafs, trust me, I forgive you for not knowing this. But the whole debate about Matthews not being good defensively, you're objectively wrong. Who the, who's still saying that? There are, there are, there are, you can find, remember, it's the internet. You can oh, find people to say anything. All right, let's he, talk directly to them. Let's those talk people. directly to them. Yeah, Austin no, Matthews, they're great. good at defense. He's good. He might why, be nominated for the Selkie. Why was he, what I didn't understand with Keefe 
is why don't you just send him out there with the empty net? I was getting I was, upset. I was also. Were you upset? Okay. Yeah, no. Well, I, think, I feel good about that. me being upset about that. No, every, I think everybody should be upset whenever there's an empty net for a guy who's chasing 70 goals. Just put him out there. And then yeah. they make a change and Mitch Marner comes on. Yeah, no, it's and ridiculous. And I'm like, what are we doing we here? Can, we can abandon what you're supposed to do for 70 goals in a game that is over. Yes. Like, there's yes. a like in, in basketball when you're up a hundred points, do you play your starters? No, you put on the bench players. When you're up two goals in the final seconds and there's an empty net, just put out uh, Matthews to get a seventy goals when and the season's over. Here's the thing: Matthews plays in shorthanded situations. He's done it all year. Yeah. Yep. They were six on four. Yeah, they He's were their best to, faceoff guy. They were trying to get him out there. He was standing on the bench. Well, he should, he should have know, been out you know there before crazy? that. Put him out there. <laughs> I was. <laughs> what if you simply did it? This is okay. So, oh no, we got to put Holmberg out there because we got to play right. No, 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 no. no. Bertuzzi, Bertuzzi shot it into the empty net and he scored. Yeah. And my first thought was, "You son of a gun! Why did you shoot that?" And my second thought was, Steve, that's a bad instinct. No, it's a bad instinct, and I get it. I get <laughs> it. And I know coaches instinct. don't want to do that. And I see, by the way, I'm seeing players look for Nylander, and teams are ISOing Nylander because he's going for 100. I see teams looking for Matthews. They haven't been able to stop him. He can't, seems to score at will, but they are trying to ISO him. I get why Sheldon Keefe is going to be annoying head coach about this. You got to play the way that you played to get you here. That's he's, stupid. He, He's but not. it's, Jesse says, <laughs> three minutes left. It's six on four. They're clearly pulling the goalie. Put Austin Matthews out there and let him play three minutes. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? He's, he's, uh, he's not playing like a goal suck, though. No, he's not. No, Because he's not a goal suck. If anyone is cheating for a Matthews goal, it's his line mates. Domi. Like, there was one where I'm like. Domi's like looking for him. You like, had to yeah. shoot that, Max. Yeah. Like, yeah. Come on. Um, Matthews has changed nothing about his game. You're so nothing. right about that. Not a thing. Mm -hmm. And he's scoring goals that no one else in the league scores. Yeah, like, he just sco like he's scoring like this. So why would he ever cheat for anything? Because that's just his game. The Penguins one. I'm like, that's a one legged, lazy piece of crap goal. Mm -hmm. That's only good because it's you. <laughs> if it's anyone else, you yell at them like you need to practice your shot. And he just effortlessly it's he's Johnny Bravo out there. It's friggin ridiculous. Yeah.